Was the house haunted or were there just ghosts visiting? This is Real Ghost Stories Online. Hey, if you have a real ghost story, share it with us because we would like to hear it. Call in anytime. It's 855-853-4802. You can write in at realghoststoriesonline.com. Now, if you want an ad-free version of the show, you can get one along with advanced episodes, access to the archive, become a premium subscriber. You can do that in a few ways. You can do it through Apple Podcasts, try it for three days free. You can also sign up through patreon.com slash real ghost stories or at ghostpodcast.com. Kathy. Well, hello. I am in the studio with you today. I kind of like the idea of not having a ghost and just a, one that visits. Well, <laughs> I was wondering when you said that, I'm like, it seems like that is the definition of haunted. But I mean, if they're just stopping by and it's like, hey, you know, I'm not going to live here forever, but I'm across the street in the cemetery getting a little bored with those guys. Well, you know, okay, I'm going to have to hear how this story goes because I'm thinking in my head that if you have a ghost in your house, it might you might see him on Monday, and then you might not see him for two months or three months. Doesn't mean he left. It just means you didn't see him. Or for two did or three he months. leave? Maybe he left. He's down the street. Maybe because they they like got a pool table. Right. So and like, how would you know? You don't. <laughs> like I, that's why I'm interested in this story because I'm like, how is it haunted, or is it just? Like a hotel, you come in a ghost hotel. Yeah, right? So I've talked to several people and they say like a lot of locations have these spirits haunt them and then there's others that move in and out. Oh. So that's why a lot of paranormal activity, you know, this group might pick up on this, this group might pick up on that, that some of them are kind of like travelers. Oh, well, that would make sense to me. I think to have a ghost be a traveler, a spirit be a traveler, that makes sense. And if you're into ghosts and you're okay with having a haunted house, it would definitely make it more entertaining. Because Henry has been here forever. But, oh, my God, Bernita stopped by today. Every now and then you've got another, you know, (laughs) type of spirit in the mix. And they might get along. They might not. They may not even know the other one's there. I don't know how that would work. And I've asked some people about that. I'm like, do ghosts know that there are other spirits there? And most... Often the answer is yes, that they do know. Oh. But they might not interact, but they do know that others are there. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. But you know what? Who really knows? There's nothing definitive. It's not like any of us could say, this is the truth. Right. It's all kind of theory. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of people doing some really good studying of it, but who knows? Well, based on your experience, what you've experienced, you don't know. So here's this story. Hi, my name is Caitlin from Howard Lake, Minnesota. It sounds beautiful, Mm -hmm. right? I am a new EPP subscriber, but I've been listening to your podcast for some time now. I wanted to tell you about my experience from when I was a kid. I have so many stories, but maybe I'll tell more later on. These are the ones that stick the most. When I was about five or six, my parents split up for the last time. Oh, (laughs) Gosh, <laughs> it breaks my heart right there. No, because obviously they'd split up many times. Yes, poor kids. So my mom took my siblings and me. She rented this beautiful old home located in Hamel, Minnesota. When we first moved in, everything seemed fine until I was helping my sister decorate her room, and she left to go downstairs. I was alone in the room putting a little mini couch up against the wall, which is pretty adorable thought because she was only five or six and she was decorating the room. It's so cute. Um, We had this Bratz themed clock. We call it the haunted clock that my mom had gotten us and I stuck it on the mirror prior to moving the mini couch. All of a sudden I heard a loud thud as if something had been thrown against the wall and I ducked behind the mini couch and I heard something walking on all the plastic bags that were on the floor. I immediately jumped up and ran screaming down the stairs to my mom, the moving guy, my sister, my brother, and they were all looking at me like, what is wrong? I told them everything about how something threw the clock at the wall and was walking in the room and the moving guy said, 
It was nothing, probably my siblings playing a trick on me. But they both said, how, how could they, when they never left the couch, as they were both scared? So I guess they were in the room, too? Well, I'm not sure. Or the couch downstairs? Maybe it was. I, I think maybe it was the couch downstairs or okay. some other could location. Be. That's what I'm thinking. So it sounds like that kid was in the room. She's in the room by herself, mm-hmm. Caitlin is. Mm-hmm. And the haunted brat's clock was thrown against the wall. Yeah. And somebody's and walking somebody's around. somebody's walking around. around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know what? They dismiss that so often because you're a little kid. Yep. And so it was your imagination. Yep. Another time, and I'm telling you, there were many more events I, that have happened before this one. But anyway, my siblings and I were terrified to sleep upstairs or anywhere alone. We all had our own room, but we never slept in them alone. We'd either be sleeping in my sister's room under her trundle bed or in the closet in my room. Okay, that's bad when you're sleeping in the closet. Yeah. Because so many closets are so creepy. Well, this night, we all begged my mom to sleep in the living room on the pullout bed, and we did. But even when we were all there together, they never seemed to let us be. I woke up that night needing to use the bathroom, so I crawled over my mom, and as I got off the bed, I heard this rolling sound. Okay, this is a little confusing. Side note... We had these stairs that would flatten out into a floor-like deal and then become stairs again. And at the bottom, there is a door. I don't know what you call that. So is it kind of like that thing, like like your attic, you know, the the stairs come down That's what I'm envisioning. And I don't know what you call that either. Yeah. But the rolling started thudding like a bouncy ball was falling down the stairs. I stood there in fear, not sure what would happen next. The ball sounded as if it rolled again across the flattened floor-like part of the stairs. And I'm still not totally seeing that in my head. but So the ball rolled again across the flattened floor-like part of the stairs. And the thudding started again going down the next part of the stairs. Then it stopped after hitting the stairway door. I swear in my life this was not a dream. I heard and saw that door slowly creak all the way open and that, and the next part is in caps, ball rolled right into the room we were in. Oh, my. So the ball must have come down like out of an attic thing. That's what I'm thinking. But the flattened part, is that like a platform? I don't know. Like you've walked down some steps. Oh, maybe that's it. I don't know. Because that would go clunk, 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 roll, clunk, clunk, clunk. Like but that. it says the description above, we had these stairs that would flatten out into a floor-like deal and then become stairs again. And at the bottom, there is a door. I don't know what you call that. I don't t- quite visualize this, but I'm visualizing a ball and coming down the stairs and going around a corner into the room they were sleeping in. I totally am too. And I, I think I get the sound, though, of the thud. You can hear it. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. I said... Screw going to the bathroom and jumped into bed under the covers, cuddling next to my mom and siblings. That home is no longer there as it has been knocked down. I was unsure if the home was haunted or if the ghosts from the church graveyard across the street were paying us visits and haunting us. But that is just two of my stories. I hope to send in more and hope to hear this one. Thank you. Hmm. See, but that's what it reminds me of that story our mom tells about Because in our house, there was like the front door and the room where we had the piano. And then there was the stairs Mm -hmm. that went upstairs. And so she says she was in the kitchen and she heard a ball come down those stairs, which would have ended up in the piano room. But the ball would have had to roll, taken a left turn and another left turn and rolled towards her in the kitchen. And balls don't. On yeah. their own, take two left turns. Like, go downstairs, hang a right, right, and then a left turn, then another left turn. Yeah, you had to take a right to get out of that So there's three stairway. turns for that ball. So, And that's what that story reminded me of, that ball all by itself. And then Mom's like, you know, I don't know if that was the ghost. I'm like, oh, Mom, what was it? <laughs> like, 
What was that then? I know. Isn't that funny? And people will do that all the time. They go, well, maybe. I don't know if it was a ghost. And I'm thinking, well, <laughs> you know. Uh, Let's think this through. You were the only one in the house. A ball came down the stairs. You could hear that very distinctly. Mm-hmm. Because in those old houses, too, I swear the sound kind of carries, you know, because there wasn't a lot of carpeting or anything like that. It, we didn't have tons of furniture in the house. Well, so. and I don't know how old this house is that she is talking about. It is across from the church graveyard. So it's, if there's a, a church with a graveyard there, that sounds like it's pretty old because most modern older. churches don't have their own graveyards. Yeah, it's probably older. Interesting. Well, okay, so... That begs the question, do you think it was visiting ghosts from the graveyard, or do you think it was the house? Well, I don't know, because then it says, um, at one part in this story, like, there was many more things that happened. So if there's, you know, kind of constant activity, I just don't think that's a bunch of traveling ghosts from across the street. I don't either. I don't get the feeling of, no, that's creepy. You know, to look out at night and see a cemetery. Yeah. It also kind of makes me think it could be the spirit of a child. Mm, because toys. toys through the brat's clock. It was in the room with the kid, the ball. Yeah. I don't know. It, it does sound like that. Here's another one. Okay. Another story for today, kids. Hey, guys. When this story took place, I was a freshman in college, and my mother had convinced me to stay living at home so I wouldn't be financially strapped down and stressed about school. And here's, I'm going to interrupt right here because I get that, and a lot of kids are like, man, I want to get out, move out on my own, but you know what? Once you do, it's really expensive. (laughs) And if you could stay living someplace for free, it's just, man, if somebody told me right now, if you're going to college, stay here for free, I'd be like, I will be in college forever. I work with college kids every single day. Yes, you do. I cannot tell you what a relief that would be in 10 years that they didn't have all of those bills. Because it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So it continues. Well, I ended up being stressed out because the homework load I had was tremendous. It wasn't out of the ordinary to stay up most of the night and work on my schoolwork. Well, one night I was up about 3 a.m. and I started hearing a voice. I stopped what I was doing to listen. It was a child's voice, but I couldn't make out what it was saying. I stepped out of my room and the voice grew louder. I went into my mother's room and told her what I was hearing. We got up and walked down the stairs. As we got towards the bottom, you could hear a child's voice repeat. This is so creepy. You could hear a child's voice repeat. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I shall die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Oh, man. That's creepy. That's that's really creepy. That's creepy. So she said, I looked at my mother, and she knew immediately what it was. My mother collected stuffed animal bears. She had bought this one from a thrift shop and had and had washed it to kill any lice or anything that might be living on the bear. And he, uh, my feeling about that is if I have to wash something to kill the lice before I bring it into my house, it ain't coming home with me. No. She didn't know at that time that there were electronics inside and they, they had short-circuited when she washed it. We put the bear in the garage so we didn't have to hear it and went back to bed. Okay. I mean, good idea, but still creepy, like... It has to be battery operated, right? Or well, it's something. Some, her, yeah, but I suppose it could have been somehow shorted when it was washed and just doing that. <laughs> of all things. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh. So I was sitting in my room and about five minutes after going back into my room, I heard a child's laugh coming from my walk-in closet. I stood up. And at that very moment, in a voice that is indescribable and definitely not human, I heard, funny how you thought it was the bear, isn't it? I immediately went and told my mother what happened. She replied with, oh, honey, it was just a dream. It's been an hour since we went downstairs. I nodded my head and went back into my room. I could tell something wasn't right. I knew it had not been an hour, and I knew I did not fall asleep. 
I never woke up. It was a fluid motion. Not only that, I could tell my mother was unsettled. Years later, I asked my mother again about what had gone on. She said she only told me it was a dream so I wouldn't get nervous and move out to leave her in that house all by herself. Did my mother know the whole time? And that's why she didn't want me to move away for college. (laughs) But wait, 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 wait. So, but if this is her mother's house, there could be a couple scenarios. No, it said at the very beginning, my mother had convinced me to stay living at home. So it sounds like there was no activity before then. And then she brought the teddy bear in and the activity started and she knew it. maybe the mother knew there was activity going on and was afraid to be there by herself. I got an idea. Get rid of the freaking teddy bear. Well, I don't know that it was the teddy bear ever. I think this had been But did something come in with the teddy bear? I guess that's what I was thinking, haunted objects. Maybe, but maybe things had been happening, you know, for quite a while. The mom knew it and just was afraid to be there by herself. I don't know. Well, so now you got the kid in college who's yeah. like stressed out because of homework. And now the kid is living in a haunted place with somebody like... In the closet? Yeah. Teddy oh. bears are talking when they shouldn't be. And then the closet's saying, funny how you thought it was the bear. <laughs> like, that was pretty creepy. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's almost child abuse. It almost is. Isn't it? <laughs> it's like maybe move. you know there was a time in, in my life and in your life we went a long time without talking to our mother <laughs> for different totally different reasons. But that might be like you know what I I need to get away and it's gonna be a long time till I talk to you <laughs> again because right. I'm pissed and I'm stressed. <laughs> There I was was trying to study for my chemistry test, (laughs) hearing this bizarre voice. Funny how you thought it was a bear. (laughs) That's just so shitty. Oh my God, mothers. (laughs) If you like the show and you want an ad-free experience, sign up to be a premium subscriber. Do that through applepodcast.com. Try it for three days free. You can also sign up through patreon.com slash real ghost stories or at ghostpodcast.com. Dot com for all of us here at Real Ghost Stories Online. Thanks for listening. <laughs>